Well, hey, it's Saturday, September 14th, and um, let's see, what are we going to do today? Uh, we started to tape off the windshield here because we need to paint the inside of it. We need to do some black paint in there so we don't have to see the where you glue everything down in there. So we're marking this edge and then we'll actually paint it from the back side but we'll have this marked up uh, for that. Uh, the only thing that we can't do right now is we can't tape this off because we don't have our wing cuffs. We decided to go with the uh, Aerosport wing cuffs and uh, we got those on order and they are supposed to be here on Wednesday. Um, so we are kind of at a stop point for that. So I decided to get started on the rear windows. Uh, those need to be completed yet. So we'll get those done. And uh, we also need to trim, we also need to trim this piece here. We've got it marked and ready, but we need to trim that. And what else? Oh yeah, the close out on the tail cone, uh, the very, very tippy, tippy top, tippy top, tippy back. The very end piece uh, needs to be done yet too. So we'll see, see how much we can get, uh, get to today and go from there. Uh, one other thing we need to do, and we're going to go ahead and do that now because we've actually got uh, one of the airplanes is out of town that's in the hangar here. So it's easier for us to maneuver things around. Uh, we need to put a little bit of primer on that surface right there where it contacts this carbon fiber fairing. So we're going to do that. We're just going to put some primer there, a little primer along here. Uh, like I said, we've got, got one airplane gone, so we'll take advantage of the space we have and a little bit easier to maneuver around. So we'll pull this out and get that done, get it masked off and cleaned and ready to go. I've seen us mask up and paint stuff before, so I didn't show any of it, but we've got this primed up here. So all those surfaces where that fairing touches, um, it'll be fine. Getting started on these rear windows, and we had previously uh, painted, painted the inside part of it, it's painted black. Okay, we've got our window, the window retainer is the metal piece, uh, the aluminum that we've got painted black on one side, and I don't have it painted on this side. And then we've got the spacer here, which is just a, a polycarbonate um, piece that's cut. Uh, as you can see, it's cut just a little bit smaller than this. Then the window itself will, will just sit in here, and then this gets riveted onto the fuselage. So the plan is um, we're going to silicone, I'm going to do a silicone bead on this and then we'll Clico this on. Now I'd like to do another silicone bead just on the inside of this frame right here and we'll put the window in and clamp that together. Maybe let it set up for a little bit and then we'll take the whole thing and install that uh, on the airplane.
rear windows are installed, riveted in and everything. And as you saw, we did do um, for that inside trim, I guess ring, spacer ring, we did a bead of silicone around that on the inside. And then we did a bead of silicone around the outside of this on both the, oops, and both the window and the strip. And um, so we got that all in and we used silicone on each of the rivets. Just a little tiny bit of silicone on there to seal that up. So that is in. Uh, we'll eventually probably come around here and do a really little tiny bead of silicone around the border of that window. We'll do that at some point, not today. And we're going to start working on the tail cone closeout. Um, we actually bought the Aerosport closeout a long time ago. I, right after we first started the project, I bought that. Um, so we'll get that started on there. Uh, first, we're going to, we did, when we did rigging on this, we did verify, but always good to double check. We're going to verify the rigging on the elevator to make sure that our down elevator, max down elevator doesn't, uh, I shouldn't say interfere, doesn't touch. We'll just make sure we get that all fit up right. Got our tail cone closeout. Um, we got the slot cut for the elevator horn and a notch in there for the trim tab wires. Uh, that's where those come up there. Uh, next thing we had to do was we fit this up and check the clearance on the elevator. We do have to do a slight adjustment on it and oh yeah. I did verify that we are still the same uh, in spec on the elevator um, up, full up and full down. That's still uh, good there. So we just got to trim a little bit off of this too. So what happens is where the elevator comes down, when it goes full down, um, it's, it's just contacting the back end of this. And that's what we measured out, how much needs to come off of this to just tilt it down just a little bit to make it fit right. Got this trimmed up now, so uh, we ended up taking a little bit, uh, what was that, a quarter inch? 0.425. Oh, 0.425 from the bottom, and we just did a line 425 in from the bottom to the top edge of this, and that tilted this down just a little bit, enough to where at full down, we've got little gap in there and then when it comes up all the way up the elevator um, it does not it ju is just below the lip of this so it doesn't contact that and doesn't touch right there so now we'll drill we'll drill the transfer drill the holes for it and then there's a um, nut plate strip that has to go on the inside. We've got to put some nut plates in there and uh, yeah, so we'll keep going on this. Ran into a little bit of a snag fitting up our tail cone closeout, and that is these holes right here are very close to the edge. So what we're going to end up doing is uh, instead of the half inch uh, strip that they have you do the nut plates on, we're going to make that out of a one inch strip. Probably, probably put a couple extra rivets in there as well uh, through that tail cone closeout, but we'll. We'll see, uh, we're not gonna get it today. We'll see what, uh, see what we can figure out tomorrow. Absolutely beautiful day today. Was in the 
I don't know if it got into the 80s or not, but man, just a stunning day. Uh, super clear up here. Um, smoke is really blown out. You can see way up to the north. But, um, yep. All right, good day today. Um, got a few things accomplished. Got the windows put in in the back. We got that section of the horizontal primed so that we can put that um, carbon fiber uh, fairing on there. And we got a good start on our tail, um, the tail cone closeout. And like I said uh, just a minute ago, uh, we did run into a little bit of a snag on the fit up. So we'll work through that tomorrow. Uh, we'll fab up a different um, uh, nut plate strip for it and we'll make that work. It'll be fine. But uh, was there anything else? Um, all right, cool. Uh, so, yeah, that's about it for today. So, hey, thanks for watching the videos. Have a good evening and that is it for now.